Hi and welcome to my post fight video for Sergey Kovalev versus Cedric Agnew. Well, as expected, um, Kovalev got the knockout victory. Um, I said at the beginning of this uh, fight, my pre fight prediction, that Agnew keeps a very tight guard. And I also said that Agnew, if he had some punching power, would be could be a threat. Now Agnew didn't have the punch power for me necessary to significantly cause the damage necessary to keep Kovalev off of him. But what he did have is that really tight guard. I was impressed with the tight guard. Um, and I think that's exactly the style to beat Kovalev. A tight, really tight defense and being able to sh shoot hard, sharp punches off on the counter. The rope dope style. Um, the best example of this is if fight fans, if you go back and look at the tape of when Nigel Benn, who was a phenomenal puncher from the UK, a phenomenal puncher, uh, met Michael Watson. Up to that fight, Ben was knocking everybody out. And Watson thought, you know what? All I need to do is just keep behind a tight guard, tuck up tight. Good evening, catch the, watch the blows, catch the blows Good on my forearms. And Thank gloves, so catch him tight, and then every so often I shoot straight shots, yeah, and I shot stinging punches, Bowling and let this guy punch himself out. Yeah, let me let let me good, draw uh, his steam, draw his steam, and then unload. And, and, and by the end, Nigel had punched himself out so much that, and, and Watson wound Ben up so much. So by the end of the what sixth round, I remember Ben being knocked down by just a simple left jab. Not because Watson was any sort of phenomenal puncher, but because Ben had punched himself out and Watson stayed tight, uh, tight, tight, tucked his chin in and, and you know, kept tight. And I believe this is the same way that whoever's going to beat Kovalev is going to have to beat him. You can't just stand there and try and have a tear up with him. What you need to do is draw his energy from him, catch his punches on your guard, in your guard, cup, tuck, tuck up tight and unload. So this is where someone like Andre Ward, I think, would be a real problem for Kovalev because like Andre Ward would catch a lot of the shots, catch a lot of the shots and then counter. So um, congratulations to Kovalev tonight. And I found it quite funny at the post fight where uh, Kovalev turned around and uh, they had the interpreter there and was asking Kovalev all these questions with the interpreter there. And one minute he's like pretending like he doesn't understand what's being said in his language. And then suddenly he turns around, O'Donnell oh, Stevens, oh yeah, O'Donnell Stevens, yeah, he's a piece of shit. And I found it quite funny. The thing was, it's almost like. Uh, you know, uh, um, Kovalev was basically told, yeah, say that on, say that on HBO. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. So it's a selling product, uh, a way to draw, draw and make money out of a big fight. Um, but um, he said, oh yeah, he's a piece of shit. He just came out like that, and um, his English is a lot better than people give. Kovalev credit for, so I'm not into all the need the interpreter there. There was no I don't personally think the interpreter even need to be there because I'm sure Kovalev's English is better than it is. But regardless, um, another guy I think actually would be a good fight for Kovalev and probably could give Kovalev problems is Bernard Hopkins, another guy who could fight behind a tight guard and and and, and throw enough hard enough punches. Um, I'm not sure if you'd see the Hopkins fight at all. I think you're more likely to see somebody like um, yeah. more like Pascal is more likely to fight. Um, uh, what's his name? Kovalev, and I can see uh, Stevenson fight Hopkins faster. Um, should Hopkins beat Shunov in the upcoming bout, then you can have Shunov. You can have a the, the titles up for grabs, leading the. The, I guess the eventual win of all those belts said, you know could go and fight um, Kovalev in a final. That That's what I can see happening, whether that be Stevenson or Hopkins. Whoever that unified champion is can fight for WBO. Then you can have all the belts all in one there. So, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Um, congratulations again to Kovalev. Commiserations to Agnew. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'm out.